Hi everyone, I'm Cassio Median with Hannah Pin Marketing and today I plan to do a walkthrough of how to set up and use one of my favorite Google tools, Tag Manager. So setting up tracking tags seems to be a major pain point for most online marketers. So Tag Manager really helps ease some of those frustrations by allowing you to place one single snippet of code on all the pages in your site and then you have the ability to easily add additional codes without having to go through a webmaster. So next I'm going to walk you through how you would go about setting up your account and creating the tags. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to google.com slash tag manager and then go ahead and set up yourself up an account. So once you've gone ahead and set up yourself an account, the next thing you want to do is create yourself a container. And each account, you usually want to have an account per company and then you create a container for each website domain or app within there. So for example here the account is going to be PPC Hero, the container name is going to be ppchero.com and then you would go ahead and you, it's optional to enter your domain here but you can go ahead and do that. Um, it also has the, or Tag Manager also has the ability to create mobile apps as well. And you want to go ahead and enter in your time zone information here and then Google Tag Manager will provide you with this snippet of code that needs to be placed um, on every page within your site immediately after the opening body tag. Great, so now that you've placed your Tag Manager snippet of code on all the pages within your site, you can log back into your um, container and start creating tags. So what you're going to want to do to create a tag is you're going to want to click on this little button here that looks like a tag. Select that. And then because Google Tag Manager is a Google-based uh, product, they have several templates that are already set up that make it really easy to use um, for some of the standard tracking systems that you might already be using in your account. So for example, there's a template for the AdWords conversion tracking, AdWords remarketing conversion tag, um, the double-click tag, analytics, universal analytics. It also has a custom HTML tag section, so if you were using a third-party tracking system um, that uses an HTML tag, you can enter that here. You would also use this section for creating, let's say, your Bing um, tracking tag as well. And then it also has a couple uh, certified partners that have gone through and set up um, templates with Google Tag Manager for a couple other third-party vendors as well that make it really easy to use Tag Manager with their pixels. So we're going to start first by just creating an AdWords conversion tracking. So you select that, you name your tag, and then you'll need to log back into your AdWords account and pull up your conversion ID, your label, and then your conversion value amount. And all that's available um, directly from your AdWords account. So get that, you paste all that information directly in here. Um, and then you do need to place a value in here, even if you don't have a specific value, you can just put zero, um, so we'd enter that there. And then you need to create a rule so the tag knows when to fire. So for this specific um, rule, I only want it to fire when somebody's visit, visited my thank you page. Um, by default, Tag Manager does automatically create an all pages tag, um, but for this specific one, I want to create a new rule so it only fires on the thank you page. So then you would name it, and then you can select here, It has a couple other different options that it gives you here that you can select. So it's pretty flexible and easy to use. So once you've defined that, you would save it. Um, you also can uh, block a tag. So for some reason, if you didn't want it to fire for a specific reason, you would hit uh, an add a rule to block the tag and it would overwrite the existing uh, rule that you've already set up. So once you've created it, you want to go ahead and save it. Pretty simple. Um, and then next, what you'd want to do is after you've created the tag, you want to go in and create a version. So you would create a version of this tag, 
and then you would want to go in and preview and debug it. So you'd want to go ahead and preview it to make sure that this that this tag is firing correctly and is working the way you want it to before you go ahead and publish it live to your site. So that's kind of a nice tool to make sure that you can do a quick QA to make sure everything's firing correctly before you push anything live. Because once the tag manager snippet of code has been placed on your site, it it is now live. So you would go ahead and select your domain and then you're able to double check to make sure that it works correctly. So once you verify that the tag is firing correctly, you would then hit publish and the tag would be pushed live to your site. Go ahead and hit publish and as you can see here that you have the tag has been published and you have access to this here. All right, great. Now that you've gone ahead and you've published your AdWords conversion tag, I can go ahead and walk you through how to create your Google Analytics tag as well. So to do that, you're going to want to go and go back into click on the little tag button again. Um, go ahead and name your tag. Select the Google Analytics tag. And then you'll need to log into the your Google Analytics account. Go to your admin tab um, under the click under tracking code and then you'll need to pull up your tracking ID and enter that information here. So once you've pasted that information here, um, you also want to find out if you're going to be using features like remarketing or display within your Google Analytics tag because you'll need to alter the, the code at that point. So all you need to do if you want to opt into that is select this button here and it'll, it'll alter the code for you the way you need it to be altered. And then it automatically set up to track page views. Um, if you want to track other things like events. Um, you know, transactions, a few other options here. You can go ahead and do that. Tracking events is a little bit more complicated, um, but it is an option. You do have to tweak the container code slightly in order to track events. So then the next step that you're going to want to do is you want to add rule to fire. So with the Google Analytics tag, you want that tag to fire on every page within your site. So you would go ahead and select this, this rule and then save and then you would go ahead and save. So now that you've created your Google Analytics tag, you would go through the same process that you just did with your AdWords tag. So you'd want to go ahead and create a version. Then you would want to go ahead and preview and debug it, again to QA to make sure that everything is working correctly, and then you would go ahead and publish the tag. And so that's it. That's basically how you use Google Tag Manager. Um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you have any questions, just let us know. Thanks for listening.